This video tutorial provides an overview of the personal management training spatial lab which focuses on international market assessment. The contents of this overview are as follows. We'll talk about the process of international market assessment and its importance in global marketing. We'll perform a summary of the PMT scenario. We'll talk about the procedures for accessing and opening the spatial lab and the steps that you'll perform and the written answers that you will submit when you're completed with the assignment. In global marketing, international market assessment is a very important part of the decision making process. It's the place in which the firm decides which market it's going to serve around the world. So for that reason, it plays a key role in the global marketing decision making. It identifies threats and opportunities in international markets and systematically screens country markets to identify those which are the greatest potential for specific organizations and their capabilities. And as a result, it helps the organization create responsive strategies by which it can succeed in international markets. Business GIS contributes to this process by integrating data from several sources into the project. So it allows you to gather data from disparate sources and analyze them in the context of a single research project. It displays relevant data visually in maps and charts to make it easy to understand and, and view relationships between various data attributes around the world. And it facilitates multi-factor queries which allows researchers to screen countries on several factors simultaneously. So you can identify countries which meet a series of criteria in determining the target market and as you select countries for attractiveness rather than single factors one at a time. In this particular scenario, we have a company that is the producer of uh, electronic training systems for managers who want to develop their professional skills. The particular product that they are developing at this point is one that's, that is aimed at women uh, in developing markets who have been part of micro lending programs in those developing countries in the past. These are women who have been successful entrepreneurs with relatively small projects and are now in the process of growing their business and discovering that they need increased training and managerial skills and able to, to be enabled to do so. The manager for this product, Janice Stevens, uh, wishes to identify uh, country markets around the world uh, look at the relationship between income and female workforce participation, identify those countries which offer the best prospects for the success of this product, and to recommend those countries to the firm for international expansion. And she has asked you as a business GIS consultant to perform this task. To get to the spatial lab itself, you will open the map and then look at the layer with the instructions. Click on the map to open the instructions box layer. Once that is activated, you will click inside the map to open the pop-up and you use a double click or right click and save procedure to download the special lab file, which you will then be able to open in Microsoft Word. This visual shows you what that looks like uh, in the map that you will have available on your screen. Notice that there is also a link to this video tutorial uh, as part of that pop-up as well. Once you have loaded the, the special lab and uh, started to work with it, you'll follow these steps uh, in uh, analyzing the situation that Janice has given to you. You'll explore the distribution of income and female workforce participation around the world. You'll identify the countries which meet the firm's target market definition, and therefore the most attractive to them. And you'll compare the attractiveness of the countries that are selected by that process, and you'll make specific recommendations to Janice for which to use. Let's turn to the special lab itself. Uh, and walk through that process in just a little bit more detail. We start with a summary of the PMT scenario, which we have just covered, and provides you a little bit more detail on the background of the organization, its products, and its goals for this particular product. Uh, you'll have some orientation as to what the, the, the activities you're going to be doing uh, and how it fits in the, in, in the process of international market selection. You'll get instructions on how to manipulate the map to view different layers within the map that provide different information and background about the countries of the world that you might want to, 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 to work with. So this map, for example, uh, illustrates world per capita income. And you'll see how to turn this layer on and off uh, and to adjust the display of the map to show, in this case, the participation of women in the workforce. You'll use these maps to answer question one on the basic relationship between those variables between income and female workforce participation and you look at various parts of the world and see what the relationship of those two variables might be. You will then turn to the process of identifying the specific target countries for the PMT product. 
and specifically you will select those with per capita income of less than $8,000, female workforce participation rates of 50% or more, and where a third of working women are self-employed, that is, a high number of successful entrepreneurs based on micro-lending programs. You will see the countries that are selected by this process, uh, and then you will compare those and record the results of the, the comparative data in each of these countries using dashboards and pop-ups and record that information in a table in the report template that's included in the spatial lab. With that information then you will identify the answers to three specific questions. The first is the one we've already discussed on the relationship between income and female workforce participation and how that might vary. You will then choose three markets to recommend to the company if they were to select the three most attractive individual markets. A second possibility is that the company would choose to focus on specific geographic regions around the world with some common cultural factors uh, that they would want to take into consideration. Uh, so you will have a second recommendation based on which geographic region you might want to recommend uh, should the, the firm opt for this approach. So that then is the final uh, result that you will turn in. Uh, on the basis of the maps and the data that you have, have reviewed, uh, you will recommend uh, three individual countries to the firm in question two uh, and three countries in a single geographic region in question three. You will then cut and paste that portion of the, of the template to submit as a report to your instructor uh, as you have been uh, assigned to do. Uh, and that concludes the video tutorial on the Personnel Management Training Spatial Lab. Uh, good luck as you pursue this project.